Not again. you got to be kidding me. One of the biggest threats to these chargers is lightning damage. For us, the one amp fuses have worked out wonderfully. Not again, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so we had some lightning storms last night and now our fence charger is not working. It's not putting out electricity. More than likely, lightning struck it again. So I'm sure if you've uh, been searching this video, you've probably found yourself in a similar position. And I wanna show you guys what I've learned from other farmers, a little trick to help protect your fence from lightning storm for extremely cheap. Every style of field fencing has its pros and its cons. Electric fence, for example, is relatively cheap to build. Uh, one of the cons of electric fencing is the price of these electric fencing chargers. They're not very cheap. One of the biggest threats to these chargers is lightning damage. So I purchased this uh, electric fence charger at Tractor Supply. It cost me close to $250. Now I'm very thankful that they offered and I decided to purchase the $30 extended warranty that covers lightning damage. I purchased this charger in April of 2018, uh, shortly before I got my cattle. In July of 2018, this charger was struck by lightning. So I took the charger down, I took it to Tractor Supply, within 10-15 minutes walked out with a brand new charger. It was great. In August it was struck again, so I had to do the same thing. Now luckily, the extended warranty covered it, but I don't want to have to depend on the extended warranty and I don't always have time to take this charger down, unhook everything, and take it back to Tractor Supply to get a brand new one. So I thought there has to be a better way. So I talked to some of my friends and one of my friends, Steve, that lives across the hill, mentioned a fuse system that he has implemented on his charger that has really saved him a lot of time and a lot of money. And that's what I want to show you guys today. So this is my setup for my electric fence charger. There's two wires on every electric fence charger. There is the ground wire, it's labeled ground up here. For me, it's the white wire. This runs back over to the fence to my ground system or my ground rods. I'll be having a video later on on how I've grounded my fence and how I run what's called a hot ground system. The other wire is the black wire, which is hidden, it's right here. This black wire is the hot wire that typically connects to this pole on the electric fence charger and runs back to the hot wires on your fence. Now as you'll see on my system I have implemented a fuse onto the electric fence charger that connects the charger to the hot wire. So when a fence is struck by lightning what generally happens is the lightning strikes the wire or uh, the fence draws electricity from the, from the storm in the area and that electricity flows back to the charger and hits the charger and burns it up. What a fuse does is a fuse stops that surge of electricity from making its way back to the charger. Now these are the fuses that I have been using. They are one amp fuses. There's two types of fuses. You can get these glass cylinder fuses or you can get the square plastic fuses. So what these fuses do, these fuses are only designed to handle so much electricity. In this case, these are one amp fuses. When the load of electricity exceeds what the fuse can tolerate, the wire inside the fuse actually melts. When this happens, it stops electricity from flowing in the circuit. And in this case, if electricity flows from the electric fence wire, the black wire, 
uh, through this yellow wire and hits this fuse, if the amount of electricity flowing through here exceeds what it's supposed to, then it will actually blow this fuse and it will stop the electricity from flowing onto the charger. Now the goal with these fuses is you, it's kind of a balancing act. So you have a lot of electricity coming out of this charger that's going to the fence. You don't want a, a, a fuse that is so weak and intolerable that the electric fence charger itself will blow the fuse. You also don't want a fuse that is so strong that it allows more electricity to reach the charger than the charger itself can tolerate uh, and cause the charger to burn up before the fuse even blows. So that's the balancing act. For us, the one amp fuses have worked out wonderfully. So, our fence charger has been hit by lightning. We've checked our fence, we have no power. So what do we do? Well, it's really as simple as this when you have one of these fuse systems. I've got a I've got a new fuse right here in my hand. So I'm going to walk out here to this fence. I'm going to unplug it, which is I've already done. I'm going to take this fuse holder. I'm going to push in. I'm going to twist. And when I do that, I can slide the old fuse out. I'm going to take the new fuse. I'm going to push it in. I'm going to put the cap back on, push in, twist, let it go. And it's really as simple as that. These fuse holders and these fuses are relatively cheap. A quick search on Amazon and you can get 10 fuse holders and like 100 or 200 fuses for 12 or 15 dollars. Uh, and my time and my gas running to town and back cost more than 12 to 15 dollars. So it's, it's very, very valuable. As soon as you're done here, you just simply plug your charger back up and it's up and running again. much better. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Uh, these fuse systems are really the way to go. I see a lot of people on Facebook pages and in Facebook groups searching and asking, you know, how do I protect my field fence and how do I protect my charger from lightning? Well, this really is the best way. Now, there's nothing guaranteed. Uh, this system may still not work for you, but it's a lot cheaper than some of the other systems and it's worked great for me and some of the other farmers in my area. And maybe you can implement this system on your farm and save you a little bit of time and money as well. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe hit the subscribe button. We're gonna have more fencing videos as the year rolls on. We're also gonna have a lot more beekeeping videos as the weather warms up. Be sure to check us out on Facebook as well, Brown's Beef and Bees.